Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 16, The Adventure Extravaganza, where we are resuming exactly where we left off last time, next to this really nice boulder. It's still a really nice boulder, and it looks so crisp. That looks like a real boulder. Like, th that boulder right there is photorealistic. In fact, I can actually imagine standing in this exact space. Looking out there, that's a little bit more like a video game, but you know what? It still looks shockingly good this game and it's a ton of fun to play so we are continuing now we have fast forwarded some number of years since the 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 flashback we did i was told that apparently that whole flashback is basically what you got in the game's demo which i didn't play again i wanted to go into this completely not having any clue what was going on i think something that might be fun in the future for me is to go back and rewatch all of the trailers like after the fact and see what might have been spoiled or else what might have made the more sense if I'd watched the trailers There'll and the gameplay demos in out. advance. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? See, I, one of the reasons that I wanted to do this was because I feel like I knew too much about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 going in and it kind of made me wish that I hadn't engaged with any of the media at all prior to starting By the game. The or actually prior to even finishing it. I wish I could go back now. But I mean, I was so into the hype train for that game. I was so excited. And it, I mean, it paid off. I, I love Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm still kind of playing it. Granted, not actively. And I, I, I want to 100% that game is the issue. And I just don't have the time. When there's so many other things that I want to play, like this, for example, that just keep coming out. It, the gaming space is crazy and just getting crazier with all these new releases here recently. Can I hop down there? It doesn't look like it. We're very much on a narrow path right now. But yeah, I still wish I could go back. I kind of wish I didn't see the trailer for Future Redeemed either, and I just played the expansion because I feel like the Rex that? reveal, I'm mean, spoilers, down there. Future Redeemed, I guess. If you've seen the trailer, you already know this. I feel like it would have been so much better. So, and then also what the story Titan was and where it was fight out of placed in the timeline friends. and all that. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant. Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominants are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Shreyskart! Adion in here, Sagarid! Drag! Oh my gosh, it's the her! It's her, what's that girl? Jada! Must be Isla! It's the worst battle cry of all time. What alvation now, King? Alan Scully asked. She's not going to turn. She's not going to fight us because she's going to recognize us. Let this be the end. Or maybe she won't? Or maybe it's not actually her. I'm just kind of assuming it is her. We're gonna go for her first, because I feel like if we just like take at her out of the situation, that'll be it, you know? You focus on the target. Understood. Okay, I picked the wrong time to dodge there, I understand. I'm really truly not breaking her will just yet. But we're gonna get there. Did she just heal herself or is that my imagination? Probably fully my imagination. Very bad at timing those dodges. You've got to admit, though, that she's very deceptive about when her attacks are going to fall, right? Like, right now. See, that was not a successful, I would say, dodge in the traditional sense. Oh, now that was precision, though, baby. And that wasn't just because I hit the dodge button, like, three times. That was decent. That was decent on my part. Okay, and that, I just thought all she was going to do was jump in the air and do that one little twirl. 
which is why I didn't do more than that. Oh, she's staggered, baby. I feel bad, though. She's like a childhood friend and or my sister. It's still not quite been established yet. I'm still a little bit confused on it, but I think that she's like a friend. I, my theory last time, which we haven't actually done any research on to verify, is that we went to war with her people at one point. Oh my gosh, my guys actually took out all those other combatants. That's crazy. Get out of the way of this. Falling crystals are a real danger, everyone. I guess I can shoot her with fire. Fucking icons. Yeah, no, they're quite irritating, aren't they? Yeah, she's got, like, mad skills. I'll give her that. She doesn't even have to turn into Shiva. She can just, like, rain down eye crystals, uh, ice crystals on us. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, we think that maybe we went to war with her kingdom before, and she's, like, a ward that we took in in one of those, like, efforts to maintain peace or whatever. But we don't know that to actually be the case. This is the closest to death we've been in the game so far. I let myself get down real low there. I, I, I know that we have a limited amount of potions, and I didn't want to push things. Good gosh. All right, high potion time. I think I... Ooh! See, I dodged out of the way, but then I attacked too soon, and then I, I jumped right back into the fray. So is that second bar of health on my health bar, like, how much I would heal using a potion? What does this do? What does this do? Is that, like, increasing my strength or something? Or is it my defenses? It's called stone skin, so I imagine I must have better defense now for a, a, an amount of time, but I don't know for how long. Just keep throwing fire at her. That's what I ought to do. I, I like how instead of just doing it, I'm like, do it, dude. Like, I'm trying to talk him into doing it. Like, I'm not actually playing the game. I'm just cheering him on from the sidelines. Actually, he'd probably be doing a lot better were that the case. Oh, we've almost got her staggered, though, boys. And by we, I mean mostly you. It's my guys right now. I'm just sort of watching. I'm just going to keep shooting fire from a distance. I feel safe over here. I feel like distance is key in this situation. We probably have enough uh, points to unlock some new abilities. We should look into that. Oh, she's staggered now, though. So that was uh, Scarlet Cyclone. Oh, I completely forgot about Phoenix Shift. We could have been Phoenix Shifting this entire time to get up close and deal more damage. Well, you know, we'll get her next time with it. Okay, bad timing that time. Easy, easy, easy. Let's not get crazy. Let's not jump into any. It'd be great if we finished her off like this. Just shooting her very slowly from a distance with fire. That would almost be like the, uh, like, a meme worthy. I'm gonna feel real bad about this. If it is our friend, and it does look like it is. The fact that we don't recognize each other, because, I mean, sure, we look a little different. She looks basically the same. All right, there we go. She's almost down. She's almost down. Keep hitting her with the fire. Beautiful. Shiva defeated. Okay, but is it our friend? What is our spoils from that, by the way? I think we're about to level up a little bit, and we got a fine stack of gold out of it. Also, my nephew was calling me. I'm in the middle of playing a video game. I'm sorry, bub. I'll call you back later. You're never going to watch this. It's going to be weeks before this ever gets released in the first place. You're never even going to... Ten years from now, if you ever decide to watch my videos, you'll have no context for when this happened, but I still feel bad about it, my little nephew. And this is the moment, right? Is she dead? I don't think so. Well, what are you waiting for? Yeah, what are you waiting for? Love her like you do. Love, love, love her like you do. Oh, it's the tear. Remember when she shed that little tear praying for us? No, no, that. Not you remember. Here. Not here. Oh, ah. I'll bloody do it then. You better stay that blade. Oh, that is unfortunate. That's kind of our fault. Fuck. Also, how did that kill him? No, I guess, yeah. I'd be down for the count were that to happen to me, so I shouldn't be <laughs> We've got company, disparaging the man. They're going to be so confused. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's no, what I, I expected. Get your ass 
over here and help me with these bastards. Can't do it. Not today. I'm sorry, Jill. That's her name. Okay, well, these chumps ought to go down quick and easy. Dominant. I know her. Know her. Yeah, it's a long you. story. I don't even really know how we know her. Hopefully that gets explained. We have our theory. And if it's correct, we're going to be really proud of ourselves for being able to pick up on those basic cues. See, for some reason, I find fighting all of these weaker guys in large groups easier than fighting one enemy. Like, you'd think it'd be more difficult. Like, sure, they're lower level, but there's more of them. But no, for some reason, like, the chaos makes it feel easier, and I don't know why. The chaos of it all, though, we live for. That's brutal. Is that all? Is this is going to be a situation where we just have constant waves. I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. Yeah, actually, my name is Clive. It's a long story, but I'm a part of a I, royal bloodline. I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? I mean, technically, betray. they murdered my family. I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. Oh. And you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we just turn keep it shooting him with fire. So if you <laughs> won't take hers, I'll have to take you. Come on over here, big guy. Come and get me. You, oh, he's got fire too, but he doesn't I'm shoot it nearly as today. quickly. Yeah, no, I think we can just win the fight like this, but it's going to take a Let's really long time. Out. Here's what I'm going to do I'm not going to run away from him, but I'm going to make him come to time. us. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Hold on. There we go. Precision dodge times three? I guess that means I've done it three times in a row now. Not in this fight, though. Because I've only done it once in this, uh, this fight. Aw, oh, dang it! We had almost gone through this entire fight without taking any damage. So that's a good Scarlet Cyclone, a little bit of a Rising Flame dealing good damage. I keep forgetting that I have those abilities for whatever reason. I just don't think about them. Oh, you son of a gun. Break out your little fire attacks, why don't you? From the front lines. Who trained you? Who gave you a name when you had none? I mean, I had a name. Speak as if we don't bear the same brand, son. I've always had a name. And I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like a torn blanket. Then you will die, as you should have 13 years ago. See, you're not you're not doing yourself any favors here with the smack talk. Clearly, I'm the main character, and you want to stay on sides with me. So what you shouldn't be doing right now, uh, Tiamat, is insulting me for crying out loud. No one. And I will not fall by your hand! I disagree strongly. I disagree. I think that's exactly how you're going to fall. Again, you don't have to. You could, like, choose to be friends with me. We could leave the Empire together. It kind of sucks. We both seem to agree on that. It kind of sucks. We could, like, go do our own thing. It would be fantastic. Imagine. Just the boys. Just the boys and that girl that I knew from my, like, childhood or whatever the situation is. I don't think he's going to fall for it. I don't think he's interested. I'm sorry to say. We did our best. We did what we could. Not that I think he could hear me trying to, like, reason with him. Because it's a video game. And it's all, like, coded in advance. You know, we haven't gotten to a point with AI yet where the game can just be written in real time. And when we can, oh, that's where things get crazy. Do I have to pick these? What are these? Use of crafting? <gasps> You know, I'm willing to say it. Not every game needs crafting. I'm kind of over it. Oh. 
Oh good, there's more of them. They just keep coming and they won't stop coming. Get the girl and run. Can we unlock some sort of superpower to put it into this? I'm still not convinced that we weren't actually... See, I'm confused about the earlier in the game. Because I thought for sure it was Clive who turned into Ifrit, but then that doesn't explain why he... he or not, um, yeah, it doesn't explain why he didn't kill his brother. And then later on, it, it definitely looked like he actually just passed out earlier in the battle and missed the whole thing. But he definitely watched it happen, and it seemed like it was happening from the dog's perspective. So I'm pretty confused. I, I don't really know for sure what was going on. Is that our dog? This way. <laughs> Unfamiliar fellow. Ah, oh, it's Sid! Bloody winged. Oh, of course it is. Well, come on, then. We love a Sid. Fuck. Fuck. Now's not the time, man. She's passed out. It's not cool. That's not kosher. You'll have to wait. Oh, hello. It's you again. Hugo, dear. My proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back. No doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this prize. Oh, you don't have to My go. Lady, the Thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. All of these characters know each men. other. We have work to do. They all have a history together. We know none of it. This looks a great place to like, to like have a pod races and whatnot, though. I'm just throwing that out there. It could be a lot of fun. Jill, is it really you? Gosh, you'd hope so. Otherwise, think about everyone you just lost to save her. How awkward if it's like her very similar looking sister. And who's this fine hound I see before me? No shot this is the same dog. I really want it to A be though. fine hound who saved your life. That's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. It's Torgal! You two acquainted. Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Wh where did he come from? And why and how? When? I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. This man's voice is like next level. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up! 
Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, 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 Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. It's an interesting vocal choice. I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. What a magnificent beast. Yeah. It's a huge friggin' dog. Some great fights there. I've got a lot of questions, though, about that area. Where is that relative to where we started the game? It looks like that's the castle up there in the top left. Interesting. So we're just never going to... Or does this chain represent, like, country's borders, perhaps? And then this is like the hideaway, I guess, right in the middle. No, so we're like way down here. So we're heading back towards the middle. How big is this map, though? Is there a way to zoom out? Okay, kind of a little bit. I don't actually know how big the map is. We've got big, creepy red crystal. We've got lovely blue crystal. We've got purplish crystal. We've got... Uh, that's it. Okay, maybe not the biggest map in the world. Maybe it gets bigger as time passes. Exploring it so far seems a bit odd, because you can't seem to really pick places to go to. I thought we'd be able to go back to these previous locations, maybe, and sort of re-explore them. And maybe we will in the future, but not right now. Right now, we're traveling from Little Spot in the Desert to Hideaway. Uh, the Hideaway, literally, is what it's called. Alright, let's go. Oh, I didn't even think to read about it, though. We'll have to do it next time. Or we won't. We'll see. Central Storm. The Deadlands. Oh, we've heard of the Deadlands. Isn't this where the that source of all evil out. comes from? But well, we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Home sweet home. I wonder if this will end up being like a central base for the rest of the game, or if this is just going to be another place we pass through. Oh yeah. Okay, I like this place. Ruins of some ancient civilization. Is this gonna do like a twist where- is that a Moogle flying around? Is this gonna do a twist this where- place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nerve. You must be starving. We grow them here. Believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. Yeah, we don't trust your two-toned apples. You're back. Woman on the uh, stairs. What sorry. a title. And this Hello. This is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Well, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. I've wondered if this game... Like... They said that these were the ruins of... Well, I, I don't even... I didn't even hear what they said. Is this game going to do... A, is, is, like, a words are difficult sometimes. Is this game going to do a twist where it turns out 
Like, there used to be a world that was super advanced, and then it fell uh, to magic and evil and blight, because that could be an interesting twist. Uh, press the giant button in the middle of the controller to open a detailed map of your current area. Main scenario destinations are marked with a red ruby crystal looking thing. Righto. So this is like a proper area. We got the Furrows, Sid's Solar. We have the Fat Chocobo, uh, Storeroom, Faucets, Reservoir, and the White Aids. Ah, I, 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 I don't know. Let's just run around wildly and see what we locate. There might be all manner of cool things in here. You look like uh, a Surly Smith, if I had to guess. Good to see you too, then. All right. Nothing. Yeah, nothing much to say. You're not. You're not particularly interested in my presence. So this is taking us down to the cells. Let's see who they've got imprisoned down here. Maybe we'll find someone of interest. Maybe we won't be able to get in. Hello there, uh, jailer. Newcomer. You mind the rules round here, or our next chat will be through the bars. Righto. Don't want to end up back there. Would not make for a very fun game. Although it did make for a very harrowing hour of my life in Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Watch when the whole party was imprisoned. It will hold. For now. Hmm. What's up with this washroom situation? Is it, uh, is it co-ed? Because that could get awkward real quick. Sid, once told me, the Blight doesn't kill the land. It only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. Well, we've always had a female friend that dated a blight then, didn't we? <laughs> hey -oh! oh! carrying on from there. So, that's where the furrows are. Uh, the reservoir is back there. How did we miss the faucets in the storeroom? Did we not go that direction? Because we ended up down in the cells. You know what? It's possible that maybe it was blocked off and we just couldn't get there. Or that I didn't notice. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. Okay, so they've got like a tattoo removal service here. That's pretty neat. Okay, and there's disease. Don't want to be in this hallway. This is uh, how you get the early game over. So we're going to want to avoid that at all costs. Not particularly interested in dying to blight or whatever it is. So up the stairs, it looks like we're going to be heading to Sid, which is where the game really wants us to go anyway. But then also, we can go through here. Oh, man. Get me a drink, sir. Or be just out of reach. That's fine, too. I didn't really want anything. I gotta stay sharp. Ah, play me a song. With thunder's roll, he knew his fate and would fight it to the end. He's literally singing about us right now, this spoony bard. Thank you. What do you think? I woke this morn inspired. That's literally what happened to us moments ago in the game, what he is describing. There's more to that guy. There's something weird going on with him. I don't know how to feel about it. spent the old morning on these steps. I mean, buddy, you're gonna have to sweep every day. You're gonna just need to accept that. Trust me, I've been there too. When you've cleaned the entire house and you're really, really pleased with what you've managed to do, and then you realize that you're just gonna have to do it again and again and again till the end of time because that's how cleaning works. Let's check out our abilities and see what we can do. So we have enough points to not get the precision dodge. Let's see, what is this? Executing a dodge with R1 at the moment of an enemy attack not only increases evasion efficiency, but also allows for counterattacks using either square or triangle or magic burst. Use triangle immediately after landing a melee attack to deliver a close range magic burst. That's useful. That sounds way cooler. And it might be worth saving up for. In terms of gear, do we have any better gear that we can switch to? It certainly appears as though we do not, which is deeply unfortunate. Uh, we do have all of these rings of cheatiness, and that's that's great and all, but we're not going to participate in that nonsense. Journal, map. What button do we have to click to get to the... Hold on, there's like a... Remember last time there was a button we could click if we wanted to get information about people and things? I thought it was the giant button in the middle of the controller, but apparently it's not, and it's not in the journal. So, heaven help me, I have no clue how we get back to that. Which is deeply unfortunate, because I was hoping to find out who this young lass was. We have, like, a button that takes a capture and a button that pauses, and then just touching this brings up the map. So, I guess we're just gonna have to accept that we'll never know how to get back to that screen, whatever it was. 
Unfortunate, but such is the way of life. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the San Brequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. I'm not but sure if we were too concerned. Chop, my friend. We both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Have it said that I'm a poor host? What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From Brandy who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered. Is he not dead? By a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil twin. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not... Interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. No. Of course not. Best mate ready then. I like You'll the bird. You need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. Okay, can we bring the bird with us though? Where the heck did the bird even go? The bird was like right here. Oh, there it is. It's right there. I'm a big fan of it. It looks it looks creepy, but I have a feeling that it's probably going to remain here while we go on our adventure. So does this mean that now everything that I can do in the... Okay, it definitely wants me to go down here. But what about going to, like, the Fat Chocobo, for example? Can I go there and get, like, a beverage or something? Yeah, I know, you spent all morning on these steps. I know we had this conversation earlier. You're going to be doing this every day for the rest of your life. Which, by the looks of things, is not going to be much longer. Sorry about that, pal. Still can't get anything from the Fat Chocobo. Oh, maybe we should try talking to this guy. Lank Locked Bearer. If you can read, 
don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledgers too. Oh, bless. There you go, folks. No it's everything you need to know about the school system. You learn things, they put you to work. <gasps> he, he's in my... Oh, no. This Boots, big man it? has such a silly Perhaps little voice. Can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. No, no, I gotta go talk to old Nan now. A blacksmith? To the forge it is then. I really want to go talk to Nan. He sounds almost scared of her. It must be his Nan. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Did we just get like some sort of membership card? Is this like a Costco or something? Like if you walk in and not a member, they'll haul you back out. No free samples for you. Hey, Surly Smith, I've Are got my Blackthorn? Costco card. What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lost Wing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Get out Is the membership so? card. Get out the spirit rewards card. Oh, it's rum. Okay, I see. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. This man's had a smithing accident Let's to the forehead. No wonder he's grumpy. You want to, like, elaborate on that? <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goot's mind. Are we going to, like, soften his heart over the course of this game? and befriend him and become like BFFs. The crafter of new gear, as well as the upgrading of existing gear, can be done at an anvil blacksmith as long as you have the recipe and the proper materials. Such, uh, Select a highlighted item from the list and hold X to craft or upgrade. Right, okay. So what does that mean? Owned, I have one iron belt. Does that, is, is, so I'm crafting that? I'm upgrading it? What am I doing here? Crafting, I guess. Yes? And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. Right. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. Something tells me that's probably all yeah. we're going to be doing here right now. A word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Never. Absolutely not. When something has changed in the hideaway, a notice will appear in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. In addition to the stock updates for Charon's Toll, the new char uh, forging recipe for the Black Hammer, uh, there are also notices for new quests, new miss uh, missives, and many other things. A circular icon will appear in-game as well as the local map to indicate recent updates. Awesome. I mean, is there anything else we can do while we're here? Quick. I don't want to ask about what him. You want? Okay, so we don't have what we need to upgrade the sword here. Or to craft, I suppose, is maybe what we're doing? We have what we need for this, though. We can. Is this an upgrade? Owned. Iron Bracer. It, it definitely appears like that's what we're doing. So, no, wait, that's craft. Now we have reinforced. There's a separate tab up at the top of the screen. I follow now and I understand. So, we have two different broadswords, and I'm not sure why. I don't, I don't remember having two of them. But then we've got the belt as well that apparently we can upgrade. And then we have the iron bracers. Now, we can't upgrade them, but we can craft n new ones for no reason. We already we already have... So, hold on. Crafting a iron bracer plus one. Or we already have an iron bracer that is a plus two? And that'll make it... I don't understand. What I do know is that apparently I can upgrade this belt. And gosh darn it, I've done it. I've got a better belt now. Should we ask about him? We might learn something interesting about his backstory. Maybe he's a real interesting guy. Okay. Sid needed a smith and I needed a smithy. Call it a marriage of convenience. Doesn't hurt that the forge here is the hottest this side of hell, or that it works without magic. 
I won't have no bearer suffering you from me. Needs repairing. If you got anything that needs repairing or retooling, you bring it here, along with your own materials. And, oh, good God, that was loud. I set a timer for some reason to let me know when, like, 40 minutes had passed so I would know how long to make the video. And it just... Oh, my good Lord. It came out of nowhere there. Very loud. Well, thank you so much for this conversation, go, then. Mr. Don't Blackthorn. Keep waiting. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Okay, so that's after talking to him. When we're done. Can I actually talk to Nan now, or is that not going to be permitted? And tell that blockhead I'm not paying for stuff I didn't ask for. Okay, she seems to be having a mood right now. Let's go talk to this fella instead. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh... <laughs> no way! Is this that guy what's from the beginning of the game that we was nice to? Looks like the same guy and he's wearing the same rags. Blankets, quick as you like. Perfectly possible I'm misremembering, though. Remember the guy we were nice to with the apple? All right. We make him comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there. Some old face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if I don't needs out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, me? <sighs> What the hell have I got myself into? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we're fully invested in whatever it is. Oh no, he's got blight face. Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? He is a curmudgeon. Ah! Accurately named. Shit, at this rate, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need tire. Well, go on. Shift your ass. <laughs> Alright. I thought we were about to leave on a grand adventure. But apparently we have some missions to do around here. And we'll continue next time. Thank you folks for watching. God bless y'all. Subscribe. Become a channel member if you want to watch me record these live. And uh, until next time, God bless y'all. See you later. Bye. <laughs>